Good evening, everyone. I'm April Goebel, and I'm grateful to be here tonight to honor one of my heroes. As the first in my family to graduate from college, with four of my siblings dropping out of high school and, and growing up with a teenage mother on and off welfare in rural Indiana, I'm standing here tonight strong and confident because of the influence and proximity of extraordinary women like Kaya Henderson. But before I share how Kaya's journey has influenced me, I'd like to pause and take a moment to recognize Deborah Quazo, not only for her personal influence in my life, but for her ability to bring together such an extraordinary group of women and leaders from across the country. So back to Kaya. I first met Kaya Henderson in 1998 in Washington, D.C., my first year of teaching, when Kaya was the executive director of Teach for America. I can still remember Kaya standing in the principal's office at my placement school in Southeast D.C., Shad Elementary. A month before Kaya's visit, student records were burned in the parking lot, students were placed in the wrong grades, and the entire teaching staff and administration were fired. Our school was in complete chaos. Kaya was there as an advocate for our children and was there to demand change. She was fierce, she was bold, she was persistent, she was someone that I wanted to be like. Over the years, I would admire Kaya's impact on the children in DC. She continued expanding her influence even more. Most recently, as the Chancellor of DC Public Schools, from 2010 to 2016, under her leadership, the embattled district became the fastest improving urban school system in the country. Her tenure was marked, yes, that's a round of applause. Her tenure was marked by consecutive years of enrollment growth, the highest graduation rates in the history of the district, improvements in student satisfaction and teacher retention, increases in AP participation and pass rates, and the greatest growth of any urban district on the National Assessment of Education Progress over multiple years. In addition to all of the other accolades we've heard tonight, for me personally, the one that stands out the most is the impact that Kaya had on the community where I began my teaching career. 20 years ago, there was not a path to and through college for the children that I was serving. But this past year, 100% of Baloo's senior class applied to college, the same community where I was teaching where the chaos was the norm. This took years of service, dedication, the vision of an innovative leader to create that type of change, both on a school and a district level. And rest assured, if anyone thinks that Kaya Henderson has taken a break, her volunteer work is incredible. She is, and I'm going to read all of, the, all of this here. She's actively involved in a number of community and professional organizations, including the Aspen Board of Trustees, College Board of Trustees, Executive Committee of the Council of Great City Schools, International Women's Foundation, the Chair of the Board of Education Leaders of Color, EDLOC, Georgetown University Board of Trustees, the Pahara Aspen Fellowship, the Nevada Leadership Institute, Institute, one of my favorites in Chicago, the Surge Institute Board of Directors, Ed Navigator Board of Directors, Teach for All Global, Global Advisory Council, and the John F. Kennedy Center Board of Trustees. At the end of my, my commitment in the Corps, Kaya stood in front of the DC Corps and gave me an award called the Cartier Award for Excellence in Teaching and Community Engagement. So tonight, it is very full circle for me to pay tribute to a truly remarkable woman. Thank you, Kaya, for teaching me how to lead from an authentic place. The world is truly better because of your love for the communities you served. Kaya, congratulations on receiving the Innovator of Color Award. Would you please stand in recognition and deep gratitude. Woo! 